like to create characters that come from real life. I try to listen to the everyday language of the working people, and I try to capture the, the poetry of our everydayness. My name is Dominique Mariso, and I am a playwright and a performer. I could not possibly um, do the work that I do without the influence of August Wilson's 10 play cycle. I, I, before reading his work, I, I don't even think I had another example of someone um, setting a, a story of, of an African American experience from their own hometown's point of view. And August Wilson gave me that, and I really wanted to do that for Detroit. When people talk about Detroit to me, they're talking about my family. One of my plays, Skeleton Crew, looks at 2008 Detroit and what happens when the factories start closing. They're not envisioning my aunt, you know, who worked on the line. So for me as a storyteller, my job is to illuminate the humanity behind the social issue. So music's huge to me. And my work has music in it. It is also another component. It's another character. It's, an, it's the way that I understand the people that I'm writing about. Paradise Blue, I look at the jazz community and my play Detroit 67. Obviously the music is Motown. It's maybe not the most popular Motown songs that everyone's heard. It might be some obscure Motown music. But it makes me feel very transported to the time period. When I tell them that I'm writing about 1967 Detroit when there was a great riot or rebellion, depending on who you're asking, they think that I wrote that in response to current events. I don't set out to be writing about the present when I'm writing about the past. I'm trying to write about the past. But it catches up in strange and sometimes um, illuminating ways. Our heroine of Sunset Baby is the character of Nina. I wanted to see um, an African-American woman as a strong lead in a story. I also wanted to create complication around what absentee fatherhood means because it doesn't always mean lack of love or shirking responsibility. She's, for me, one of the toughest women I've ever written and one of my favorite characters. Pipeline is about the school to prison pipeline that um, I think takes so many young men of color and youth of color. The play is, is looking at how that happens and, and how many of us are culpable in ha making that happen. My, my musical, Ain't Too Proud, that I wrote the libretto for, I get to tell the story of the Detroit group, The Temptations. When people think of theater, they don't think of the kind of audiences that my work is actually about, you know? And I want to see the kind of people that I write about in the house along with the kind of people that I don't write about, you know? <laughs> that I want them to experience the work together. I think that that would be the most progressive way to move my work forward and to move my um, field forward.